I can't believe that actually worked. You got four people surrounding a child in the middle. But look, this one actually looks like there could be another baby on the way. And the child in the middle is kind of adoring the tummy. Right, we are back and we are going bigger than ever with the freeform resin in shampoo experiment. Big shout out to Dave, one of our channel viewers. He sent me an email with some amazing art he has created on a bigger scale. It is phenomenal. Thanks Dave, uh, giving me the inspiration to go even bigger. So I've just picked up this, um, it's a, a bath and shower. It's a slightly higher viscosity than the the one that I used in hashtag 182, which has had 168,000 views now, which is pretty phenomenal. So we're gonna try this on a bigger scale. And what Dave did with one of, uh, well, many of his pieces is he used an LED lamp base and lit up the pieces and they look incredible. So we're gonna be creating free form resin art that looks like glass on a much, much bigger scale. But this is too small for what I need. So out comes the big one. This one, we're jumping from 36 to 48 watts. So this is more than enough to really blast that resin as it's as it's falling down into the shampooy stuff. So I did think about cutting the bottle, but then I haven't really got anything else that I can put it in. So I'm gonna pour it into this big cup and we've got a window that we can see through on the side. There we go. And when I want, I can just pour that back into the bottle, but make sure you don't use it for your hair or body. Label it up. And eye protection, because we are gonna be blasting this cup with UV light, and it's we don't want that bouncing in our eyes and causing us eye damage. So let's just check, make sure that lights up really, really well, which it does. So I have locked my focus. Hopefully you will be able to see and I've got a bubble on the top. I want to get rid of that because that's going to interfere with the resin. Right, here we go. I'm going to start pouring my UV resin. I don't know whether I, I should take off the, the nozzle and just go in. I'm just going to squeeze the bottle really hard, I think, and get a thicker, much thicker amount of resin going. Then I'm going to bring that into the middle. I'm not sure how Dave did his, but they do look absolutely incredible. Just going to keep going over it. Guys, this is going to take a lot of resin. <laughs> right, I've got some bubbles in there. But we should start to see that falling through. And I'm going to give it a moment to start creating some kind of blobs before I turn on my light, but I'm getting my hand ready just to turn that on. You can see it sinking at the top, which is what we want, but I want it to start forming some like head shapes, some weird body shapes. Is it gonna do it? I don't know. We've, at the moment, we've only got like a, a ring with a couple of big blobs. Let's turn it on now. I'm gonna put it on for the full 150 seconds. Let me adjust my focus. I can't see my screen properly because of my glasses. Can you see that properly? Is that better? Right, so I'm just gonna let that fall. At the moment, it looks like two blobs, two cherries joined up with a stem. And you'll see, I think that's gonna cure the way it is so maybe I should have put more in and more in towards the middle it's very different right I'm gonna let that cure you can see it dropping I'm gonna turn my cup just to make sure a hundred percent that it is curing all the way through it's sinking a lot slower considering the size because that viscosity is a lot higher. Okay, let's see if I can move it. And if it's fully cured. Because it is a rather large amount of UV resin. I don't want any soft spots. 
yeah I'm gonna let the timer run out and it has just turned off so let's fish that out and clean it up and see what we've got okay now that is strange but it is a little bit soft on the big areas so I'm gonna leave that out and just give that another cure just on its own just to make sure so I don't want it being hazardous just like that it's like a seesaw <laughs> okay so they're cured now it's very abstract I think we should make another one what Dave did I think as well is that he joined pieces together after he'd made them and kind of created some really cool futuristic abstract art with them right what are we going to get this time I'm going to go with a thinner line this time I'm hoping that it will sink in a different way because I want more effects I'm going to come on the inside as well I know you can't really see but I'm just going to cover the whole surface and then let that fall let's see what happens you can see it starting to sink I really want some absolutely crazy effects with this just don't know when to turn the light on let's do it now because I can see some bits that look like they're gonna separate make sure that's on the full timer and then let that sink and do its thing you see that that area there really beginning to sink fast just here I just don't want it to detach I want it to stay connected to the rest of the piece let's give it a turn just to make sure this one is looking pretty crazy it's starting to slow down now you see that that looks strange now that is alien looking let's see what we have got now that is crazy looks like an alien head look at that this has got to be like I've already done it <laughs> but a breakthrough for for resin art it really is like you can't do this stuff in a mold in a silicon mold you just can't do it it's, it's impossible some of the way that the details are and the shapes you couldn't replicate these well and he's dropped it let's do another one I'm gonna stick with the same method that I just used so it's a thinner line of UV and just keep going over it and bring it into the middle so just keep going round in, in that thin line I mean it's you're not going to be able to replicate these because it's never going to be the same twice you'd never get the same piece again that is what is unique about freeform or this freeform technique let's try and get a bit more depth in the middle this time let's see what happens I love this but just just be aware guys that it does take quite a bit of UV resin <laughs> and you're not guaranteed to get something spectacular every time it's just not gonna work that way but you could join them together and create different pieces don't detach I don't want that to detach sinking pretty fast right I'm gonna let that go it's looking like it could have come off of the main pore but we're gonna see shortly it looks so strange no it's still it is still connected this one looks epic Let's give it a turn. 
as always a massive shout out to my channel mem channel members look at that anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks and to any new subscribers to my channel and I've got some colored UV resin I might try that in a moment right let's see what we have got look at that and it looks like again we've got a kind of alien head look at that structure and that network that is absolutely incredible but again just make sure that you are fully fully curing these if you try it so that one is still a little bit soft so let's try a, a blue UV resin I'm probably gonna end up using the whole of this little bottle <laughs> right same as before don't know whether this is going to act the same way. I did try it before and the results are a little bit messy. But I've not tried it on a bigger scale. So I want to start seeing some kind of heavier blobs happening. It's not really doing it. Let's turn on our light. See the really thin strands on this one at the front. It's acting in a very different way because the viscosity is slightly different of a coloured UV resin. So this one's not going to be structurally very strong. But what Dave said in his emails is he actually just played around with them and, and poured resin on afterwards to strengthen some pieces up. So that is also an option. Right, let's see what we've got. It's very different, but structurally it wouldn't be very strong. But as a as a, a light, I mean we could incorporate that into other pieces, I suppose, by bonding them together with UV resin. But I'm gonna play about with some more clear, I think, and I'll show the results after. Now that is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at this structure down here. This is what I mean about not being able to do this with moulds. It's like a groupie. <laughs> I said that word again. Let me show you how I did that one. So all I did was I applied some bigger drops. I kind of pause and create bigger drops. It's not going to come out the same, I know. And then just go over it. And then come in. Bigger drops. Bigger drops. And then just randomly swirled that created those weird networks and then maybe a blob in the middle just really random again no two are going to be the same but i thought i'd show you how to get different kind of structures i mean look at how strange that is looking <laughs> it's like a bunch of resin grapes let's see what we've got and there it is that is absolutely crazy. You're probably going to find that you'll get occasionally like that's like a floppy head. But you could always glue that in place or pull it off. It's entirely up to you. But you are going to find occasionally that you're going to get a little piece that's not very, you know, structurally strong. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, I think this is the best one. Look at that group of people kind of huddling in around this small one here almost like a family around the child it is absolutely insane this is what you call a revolutionary way of using resin so what i want to see is if i can actually control it and create say a family of one two three four people and just swirl around over the top of those people and then create like a child in the middle and then just overlap those because I think this is possible to actually control it in a way that you get some kind of formation that you that you want 
and it's looking okay so far. <laughs> right, let's see if that idea has actually worked. I can't believe that actually worked. You got four people surrounding a child in the middle, but look, this one actually looks like there could be another baby on the way, and the child in the middle is kind of adoring the tummy of, say, the mum, the father, maybe an older sibling, and another one here. That is absolutely incredible. Or they could just be a group of weird mushrooms. <laughs> So all of these so far have only been from a 100 gram small bottle. So I've not got much in there, so I might as well use the rest up. So this was the last one. You can see it's a lot thinner, but it is structurally strong. And I tried that four people idea again, and it worked again with the, the little child in the middle. But it's just a, a lot more, but it does look more human-like because you've got the hands and the arms coming down. Absolutely incredible. So we've got all of these. Now I'm going to try and make something with one of my light bases. So I have two different light bases. This one is just a plain, um, like a warm, warm white. My, my phone is really brightening it up. But they do look really cool. But I think what Dave did with his was he made like a, a resin base. For them to fit on but then i suppose you could do that with a colored resin if you wanted to or keep it clear but i also have this color changing one but it's a bit on the it's a bit on the large side for my life the base is a bit big but you could probably get smaller ones but it does go through some different color changes which is pretty cool but i think what they need is a base Actually, this this is the biggest piece that I made today, and it does it, it looks okay-ish on that large base. It's not too bad. But what I'm thinking is this smaller one that I made a while ago fits inside that group there. Well, it did a moment ago, so I could bond those together and create like I don't know maybe these could be looking over the family that are in the middle with their new child so these are kind of like guardians so all i've got here is a small round mold and i'm just going to pop some uv resin in there and just make like a a free free form base for them which just just it's just to bond them together uh, you could do this part with epoxy but i'm using uv resin anyway i might as well carry on i just want everything touching Right, so that all should now be bonded together in one piece. Look at that. Uh, this dude here has even got a little hair quiff. <laughs> and any bits like this, keep hold of it because that actually looks like a, a balloon and it does not stand up. <laughs> but you can always strengthen that and attach that to other pieces. Same as this dude with a funky looking moustache. So before we see them lit up, light up, make sure you hit that sub button, give the video a thumbs up and drop me a smiley face or a comment and let me know what you think. So I just had an idea with this one. I've used an empty mixing cup and I, I want to try and avoid the lettering because I don't want that to come out on the, the base. But what I'm thinking is creating like um, drips down to kind of stand this one up over the light base. So I'm just going to free, hopefully avoid those letters, but I can always fill them in from the other side if it does imprint and kind of hide them, I suppose. So maybe I don't need to be as careful. And I want to create like a, um, a structured base freeform and let that run down the cup. And as it's running, I can then cure it. If I need to cut bits off, I can. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm making it up as I go along. Okay, I've got some oxygen inhibition, so I'm going to have to water cure this just for a minute. So all I need to do now is just carefully detach the resin from the cup, and it should just peel away really, really easy, leaving like a network 
frame base. Sorry, I was gonna I was gonna show you these lit up, but I, I kind of my mind went off. <laughs> that took some working. <laughs> and you can see that lettering, so I'm gonna have to go over the inside just to hide that. Okay, so this is the one that I'm calling the Guardians. It's quite hard to see in this lighting. And that's on the coloured base again, really tricky to see. And some of them I haven't built bases for at all yet, but I can always work on these at another time by joining them onto, say, other pieces or something like that. How insane is that? You can see I glued on Mr. Moustache guy and I glued on another one because my eye was still seeing the mixing cup. So I kind of distracted the eye away from that, but that is phenomenal. Phenomenal freeform resin art. And there it is on the color changing base, which I really like as well. So yeah, I think I would definitely be trying more. I might even try on an even bigger scale. I haven't made my mind up yet. But I'll get some really good photos and put them on my Facebook page so you can see them in a bit more detail. Right, I will see you for... Oh, before I go. I think that looks like a pair of headphones. <laughs> Which I could stick onto a head. Maybe. In the future. Right, see you for the next one. Bye for now.